I have been uh, recording, I mean, yeah, recording and writing for the past year, um, like new stuff, and I'm just playing it live to sort of uh, nail them out, kind of feel them out, and get them solid and for form, stronger form, more solid form to uh, record in a few weeks, three weeks for the next record. So I'm just in the middle of, I'm in the process, in the middle process, near the end. I guess it's normal, I think. I don't know if it is or not, but um, for ever since like 1998, I've been on tour like nonstop. And this, the past three months is the first time, or like four months, is the first time since 1998 that I've actually like had um, no shows at all. And I've actually not been moving around or anything because I've always been like writing and playing consistently because I never, know, never knew where, I didn't want to stop because I didn't know where I wanted to go. So I was always just like accepting and creating uh, tours to just keep kind of going because I didn't know where I wanted to be living. And so that's how like the past um, three records came about. Um, the covers record was, uh, I was, again, had been touring for this record before that <clears throat> called Moon Picks. And it was, uh, it was drums and two, it was uh, Mark Moore, Jim White, and myself playing, um, you know, it was like, kind of like a louder volume thing. And um, I started near the end of the tour um, to kind of, uh, my energy level got really low. And so I started like, um, just like having a minute where I just like start playing something that started like, um, you know, wild as the wind, like it's sound check or something just to check the microphone and stuff. And so then that became a song. And then, um, I mean, winter wind, sorry. I mean, Kingsport town, sorry. And then, um, I did it during that before I did the covers record, I was, this guy was like, you want to use my studio for free? And I said, sure. <clears throat> I had like a couple days off, so I went to the studio and uh, he had a piano there and I was like, wow, it's great, piano. So I sat down at the piano and I had been listening at that time to this um, Benina Simone song, Wild as the Wind, and I was just like this. And I was like, let me see if I can do this. And I'd never played piano before that, you know, and I got some tape and I was like, that sounds pretty good. And I got some like black tape and press the um, tape on the thing or whatever to figure out where my hand sounded good. And so then he pressed the thing and then that, um, I used that recording later when I had already done a whole record of other songs. And then I listened to the record and I'd given it to my record label Matador and they had been playing it in the office and I'd already been playing all these cover songs that I'd been like developing on tour alone without a band. And so I walked into Matador and I was like, can I, um, can I, can we stop playing that record that you have? Cause I've got this idea. I want to play, I want to record these songs, this covers record thing. And they were like, okay. So the next day and the next day I went in and did the covers record and used that piano song from before or whatever. So it's really just like a, I went on tour for like two more years playing. I would already, I was already playing that all those songs on tour so I just kept that's kind of the way I do it is I just in between like playing the songs I'll record and then just keep and then it you know becomes another cycle of songs and then record so it's always middle stuff yellow hair something's in this non-caffeine tea you are Colors and the Kids. Um, I was in, it was for recording for Moon Picks, and we were, um, the engineer was looping all the tape onto uh, a, a DAT to get the um, sequence organized or whatever. So he was in the room, and there was a piano there. And again, um, yeah, that was the first time I played piano. Was that before? Yeah, because the first time was both the first time, so this was the second time. So yeah, because that Wild as the Wind was an older song. Anyway, before Colors and the Kids, um, which is, I felt bad releasing Wild as the Wind on Cover's record because everything else was modern, except for Sea of Love, which was old too. <clears throat> anyway, so I was sitting there playing with the piano 
and uh, yeah, just like as anybody does when they're like when a song, when they're making up a song or like you know just started whatever you know whatever how people do it they start playing the music making something up and then they start getting the melody and the words start coming out and you start it starts and you start remembering it and you do it again and then you do it again and you do it again and you're remembering it and it gets longer and it gets you're remembering it and the first thought was uh, I don't know the I the the, the um, people in it are um, are um, my friend uh, Benjamin, a late friend of mine, and uh, a friend of mine, an old friend of mine, Glenn, and my nephew, and they all like have a yellow hair like type. I mean, it's not explicitly yellow, but like different shades of the color. Um, so it's bas it's about them and like cherishing memories of like of being with them or whatever memories like with Glenn we went to the beach in uh, Savannah years ago whatever and uh, uh, my nephew was like his little hands you know and uh, Benjamin like um, as strong as he was when he was younger like he was really like um, such a strong um, inspirational person so it's about that Break a leg, they say. Adam will go with you, quadruple. Okay.